Did you know that the US almost switched to the metric system? Like the other 95 of the world. In 1975, Congress passed the Metric Conversion Act, and President Gerald Ford signed it into law. What did this act do exactly? Well, it aimed at gradually transitioning the US into using metric units like meters, grams, and liters, instead of the imperial system of feet, pounds, and gallons and etc. to oversee this transition. The law created the United States Metric Board, made up of scientists, engineers, and representatives from groups like the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and the National Association of Manufacturers. But then fast forward to 1982 in his effort to cut government spending. President Ronald Reagan abolished the board. Then we go to 1991 where President George H.W. Bush signed Executive Order 12770, which as we all know by now, was directing every single federal federal agency to start using the metric system. The reasoning was kind of the same as it was back in 1975. Using the metric system would be more cost effective, especially for international trade. It would prevent delays, any forms of miscommunication, order mistakes, and wasted time due to unnecessary conversions. But this never happens. A lot of the federal agencies chose not to retrain their staff, claiming it would cost too much money, or they didn't want to disrupt operations. Plus, public interest? for switching over to the metric system was pretty dang low. In fact, it was like non-existent. So despite multiple pushes in the second half of the 20th century, the US never fully adopted the metric system. They tried to make the metric system happen, but it wasn't gonna happen.